Dear Gerd Zorzat, you had Oldenburg branded stallions, we had KWPN stallions. I am of course particularly pleased that you also have one from my homeland because I'm actually a native Westphalian. When he was young he turned out to be a Westphalian premium stallion, the son of Comilfo. Then Kinterial and Balou de Rui come in the falling damn line. Mathis took a seat on him on this wonderfully bodied black Comprévu, who actually did everything right. Top successfully also presented at the World Championships, but what interests the breeders, of course, very specially, that is actually, at least in the stallion business, almost a bit more worth than the last sport's success, is his breeding. Therefore, deservedly singled out as the main premium winner, comme prévu, in your collection, what does this stallion stand for? Yes, when you have won the main premium, that means that he is good about his own performance, that he has also made a good test and that he also has particularly good foal crops. He just made top foals, they were great types and just like himself, his genetics are very good. You were in Sangesheide and when I look at the stallion show there, also last year, Judy Ann has always raved about Camille Faux Plus, and that is the three quarter brother from the direct Grand Dam, and that is actually also a superb stallion. And he has actually really done everything right so far. Hendrik took him to the Bundeschampionat as a five year old and won several qualifications. We then went to Lanarken to the World Championships. He was also in the finals there, won the round there twice, and was the most successful German stallion there. Then as a six and seven year old, he jumped also neatly, but not extra, I must say. Now in the last year, Janus rode the horse and he was very, very successful. He has won one and two star advanced classes with him and that is a horse that just almost always goes clear. Yeah, and it's like Janus is no longer there, but Henrik will probably take him now. When you see him jumping, then you think, well, 140, 145 could still have a bit more in it. But just as Comil Faux types, who simply, by their ambition and by their will and by their attitude, I think just as over 150, 155 jump, or how do you see that? Yeah, I agree. This stallion, I also saw him a couple of times in the summer with Janus. And just like you described it, a stallion that often went clear. As he won a lot with Janis, that was very positive. Has a high ride ability, has a good canter and also his genetics with Comil Faux is very interesting. He has made many good horses and secured behind with the Balou Weinberg mare, which has just also brought the Sangeside Comil Faux Plus who at the time was also very successful with Christian Alman as a youngster and also left a very good offspring there. Here we see also for example Elm Lohe, also a nice two-star tournament. Uh, Janis was also very successful. It was almost no matter where he competed, he was always pretty much in front. Yes, he jumps from every position, always nice to the front really sporty, that's exactly what Comil Faux is all about. I've always called him Little Jumping Flea and Marcus Ening is in the class of his own of course, he has certainly inherited this quickness on his feet from his father. And as I said a few times now, it's attitude. This is the most important thing not only for people but also for horses and stallions. 
Stallions also have character. We all know that. You have to be able to deal with the character. You have to be able to let the stallion be a stallion. But in the end, he has to be able to fight for you. And that's what many of our stallions have. Now when you go into the course and that's what this one has. They want to go into the other side, they want to go clear. The difference is sometimes when I think of my riding, I could perhaps not only do as well as the absolute top professionals can, but I used to train with Mani Kutta, whom I also remember again, and Mani then always said, you do everything well and your horse also jumps well, but of course you also have to ride clear. And he trained with Doris and Frank and all the top people, they were of course able to get that much better. And you're always as successful as you ride, and if you also ride your horse ideally to the jump, then the horses also can have the chance to get perfectly clear. What is important here is what you have just said. You must also leave life in the horses. The horses must have a bit of will. The attitude is very important and that's what the father had, for example. He had an absolute top attitude which he often passed on to his children. I've already said to Mattis that he should take him along because Hendrik can't ride all of them and Mattis has also ridden a few big international competitions. Yeah, he will win something with Mattis. Yeah, they are in good shape. The season can begin, Gerd. Hopefully the truck is big enough for you to get them all in. That was really nice, Mattis. You have inspired us once again. Here to the point with this important son of comme il faut, comme prévu, into the tournament year 2023. Thank you, that was brilliant.